All right, here we have is a, a jailbroken iPad. As you can see, I have Fidel up here and a few other applications. Now I'm going to show you these a little bit later. Uh, I jailbroke this with the Spirit jailbreak that came out today, which you can get at spirit spiritjb.com. And once you have it, first thing you want to do is going to open up Fidia. And you might get a timeout error because of how much the server is being overloaded. But the very important thing to download is actually called Respring. And what that will do is uh, it will help you out because some of the applications from Fidia will turn your iPad into an iPhone mode, which will shrink the keyboard and the icons and make some of the uh, touchscreen areas unresponsive. And uh, hitting the quick Respring will actually return it back to iPad mode. Now to get cracked applications in it, you're going to want to go to Manage, Sources, and then you're going to type in Cydia.Hackulus, and once that's done, you're going to want to download Installulus. Now, you won't need the app sync up or, or these up here. These will actually crash your phone. All you need is the Installulus. Once, that, once that's installed, you can just go into Installulus and start uh, down, either downloading or installing our cracked applications for your iPad. As you can see here, I actually have two already pre-downloaded. Flight Control uh, normal version and then Scrabble HD, which is an iPad only, or an iPad specific uh, application. And as you see, once it's installed, it's actually giving you these white icons. That's just a bug. Uh, hopefully that will get fixed later on. But just to show you that cracked applications are working on it. Here is Flight Control. And then here is Scrabble HD, which once again, this is a iPad specific application. So like I said, all you have to do is download Installerless. Uh, currently right now, you can't install cracked applications through iTunes. They have to be through Installerless. Next thing to show you is Make It Mine. Like I said, some of the uh, side things are working. As you can see on top, I got my name on it. I just changed it up instead of saying iPad out there. And then let's try out N64. Now this N64 is actually for the 3GS, but it actually works pretty well on the iPad. Obviously, it's not running as smooth as it should, but it's still very usable. Hopefully, once the I iPad specific version comes out, it'll be a little bit more uh, controllable. So, that was N64 on the iPad. I showed you guys some cracked applications and how to install them on the iPad. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video.